Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to Watch One. Thanks for logging on. Today we're looking at the Ulysse Norden Maxi Marine Diver in titanium and 18 karat rose gold. You can see this unique bimetallic and richly appointed Ulysse Norden dive watch on our website, watchyouwant.com. Purchase it there if you like, and if you enjoy these videos, please subscribe to our YouTube channel, Watch You Want Inc. You can also click the card in the upper right hand corner of this video at any time to see the full listing for this watch with photographs, accessories listed, remaining warranty, and of course, full pricing for the model. On my wrist, six and a third inches, 16 centimeters in circumference, you get a good gauge of the proportions of this Ulysse Norden. It's big, it has a gorgeous sweep to it, and yet, although oversized at 45 millimeters, it is not overbearing to a smaller wrist. Now, my wrist is 16 centimeters in circumference, and you can see that at 15 millimeters thick, with a rather sheer flank and a bit of a cantilevered bezel, this one's not going to slip under a dress cuff or a tight sleeve of any kind, but you can already tell a two-tone sports watch isn't designed for that. What it does do wonderfully is accommodate a smaller wrist in form because the lugs, although abutted by conforming end pieces on the natural vulcanized rubber strap, the lugs are nevertheless only 48 millimeters from extremity to extremity. Now the case 45 millimeters across the round does wear bigger, and it wears bigger than the lug to lug measurement suggests because it does have those conforming end pieces. And when you factor in the rigid outcropping where they join the links within the articulated bracelet, this does become a 59 millimeter watch across the broad of the case as well as the strap itself. So the compound form factor is quite large. Now, Ulysse Norden is able to accommodate a smaller wrist through the clever use of their classical articulated strap. Both 18 karat rose gold, as you can see articulated with a double joint, and a beautiful blue vulcanized natural rubber, it allows the strap to pivot straight down from the point of junction so the articulated links actually curve around a smaller wrist, making this nearly 60 millimeter effective span quite comfortable. Even on a wrist as small as 14 and a half centimeters, I can say down to that circumference, you can wear this watch with style and security. Now the strap itself is a standout, first of all, because there aren't many rubber straps that add precious metal content to the watch. This one does, and both sides, both articulated links are beautifully finished with alternate brushed finish on the links themselves and high polished 18 karat rose gold screws. And of course, the Ulysse Norden corporate logo inset on both sides. Now the clasp lives up to the promise of the rest. It is a double deployant, as you can see, with twin trigger release, so very secure. The outer members, essentially the clasp outers, are 18 karat rose gold on the inside, brushed titanium for strength and mass relief. Now when closed, it is very secure. With twin trigger release, this is not gonna pop open. It's not a clamshell, it's not friction fit. It's up to the standard of a true dive watch. And the strap itself is superior. The relief channels built in allow both flexibility around the curve of a smaller wrist and the soft underside of any wrist, as well as an opportunity for grit, moisture, and sweat to escape. So this is a very comfortable strap to wear in tropical or outdoor conditions during the summer months when one is likely to enjoy a sports watch of this character. Now the watch does feature a great deal of articulation and differentiation in materials, textures, and tones. These are rich, exotic, almost tropical hues. First of all, we are talking about a titanium case, and we're looking at polished titanium. This is a look not frequently seen. We're used to the brushed look that we saw on the interior of the clasp, but polished titanium, in my experience, is not only spectacular, it's also remarkably hardy. Effectively, it's more scratch resistant than steel. A polished titanium finish is probably the most resilient metallic finish in all of watchmaking. And I've seen these watches and even some minute repeaters from Jeger Le Coult in polished titanium wear for years in daily use without any notable scratches, scrapes, dents, or scuffs. Now it's paired with a rose gold bezel, unidirectional rotating. This is the type of watch that meets the ISO 6425 standard for a dive watch. And so it does have that loomed pearl at the 12 o'clock station, unidirectional rotating. You can easily line up the pearl with the minute hand in dive watch fashion for an impromptu zero to 60 chronograph. Timing that span, you can time burgers on the grill, the kids time out, interval between meetings, or even a test if you're taking one. It's very handy. I find it's actually more useful in practical terms than a true mechanical chronograph. Now inboard, and you can see that I should mention that this is a rubber inlaid diving bezel. Quite unique, it creates unique contrast between the matte of the rubber and the 
high gloss of the polished gold, but inboard there's a gorgeous metallic blue imprinted dial featuring the undulations of nautical waves. This is to remind you that Ulysse Norden was first and foremost a manufacturer of marine chronometers during its historic period from the mid 1800s to the mid to late 1900s even. To this day, they will take in and service their old marine chronometers, and the look of that instrument is recreated here. Now, this is the Maxi Marine Diver, so fully loomed. You do have the power reserve at 12 o'clock with a jump date embedded within the small second subdial, noting chronometer standard movement at 6 o'clock. Now, I do want to mention that because it is a 42 hour power reserve, you get a lot of mileage out of your winding effort which is to say that the power reserve indicator at 12 o'clock is fairly high geared. So as you turn, you do see it in motion, and it's a nice little party favor or a piece of horological theater for showing your friends what this watch is all about. As I mentioned, it is a chronometer grade movement inside. This is Ulysse Norden Caliber 26. Caliber 26 is a modified and beautifully finished ETA 2892A2 chronometer grade it, this one is a little bit more deluxe than the standard 2892 because the Caliber 26 features a power reserve module of Ulysse Norden's own design with the result that the 21 joule 2892 becomes a 28 joule movement. It features all of the merits of the underlying 2892 so it does have a quick set function for the date, smooth bi-directional winding, it is tank tough and of course when you pull the crown to its extremity, you do hack the balance and stop the seconds hand so you can synchronize to a known accurate quartz clock, atomic clock, or dive timer. This is a very deluxe dive watch, a superb sports watch, and it's one that breaks the mold of the Breitling Omega and Rolex dive watch design orthodoxy. If you want something that's rich and profoundly different with a fantastic tradition and a wonderful company to back it up, you should investigate this Ulysse Norden Maxi Marine Diver on our website, watchyouwant.com.